Hello, welcome everybody to this lesson. Here's Ahmad Nasser from AhmadNasr.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to download Unity. First thing, you need to go to this website, unity3d.com for slash get Unity for slash download. So the website is Unity 3D, but the Unity engine is called Unity, not Unity 3D. So this is just to mention. Here we got this link. You go to choose your Unity and download. So we have also all the version of Unity. You can click on this link here or you can click on this link here. I'm just going to show you the difference between these two. I'm just going to click here, choose your Unity plus download. And here we clicked on the archive. The archive here, you can see the latest version in October 2016 is Unity 5.4.2. If you go to the download section here, you can see here we have more than one version for Unity. We have the free version, the plus version, the pro and the enterprise. So you could use any of these versions right there in this course we're going to use the personal edition so here I'm just gonna click download now and you can see the version that we have is 5.4.2 which is the same one just right there so you can download your version from the archive or you can download it directly from here so the same thing I'm just gonna click here and download in installer the same process for Mac. We're going to use Mac and Windows in this uh, this course, so there is not a big difference between the same experience, the same user experience. So there is no difference at all between Windows and Mac. So the same user experience. I'm just gonna click on download and install it right now. And here your download just gonna get started. You can click start downloading, and here I'm gonna open Unity. Okay, so here's the installer. I'm just gonna click next and accept the terms and agreement and I'm just gonna use 64-bit version I do recommend to use the 64-bit not the 32 one we need to select unity 5.4.2 I recommend to use this version to to be in the same page uh, you have also documentation um, you have standard assets so you could get the documentation and standard asset as well if you don't need them you could just deselect them. I recommend to use the standard assets from here. We have example project. You can also get the example project. And we need also to add the support for Android and add the support for iOS in case you are using uh, an iOS machine. You have to choose this option. Also, we're going to support the WebGL because we want to export the game to an HTML pages so you could play uh, your games with an HTML page so we need this option um, if you want to develop game for Windows Store you can just get these packages as well but you can come back here and add these extensions later on as you can see here so they just choose Android and in case you are using Mac you can check this option but because we are using Windows in our machine here I'm not gonna choose this option in Mac you must choose this option okay here we have Visual Studio for tools for unity I do recommend to use this option also and it's pretty much cool I'm just gonna hit it select next and here you can choose the location which is C program files unity I'm just gonna hit next and here you can see that we are downloading the latest version of unity so we're gonna see you in the next video after we finish the installation and we're just gonna get started with a complete fresh new project see you in the next video guys thank you again for watching